Tackle football is viewed as a masculine sport, but at a time when male participation rates are down, an increasing number of females are entering the gridiron. Even after passage of Title IX, girls still often had to battle in the courts before they could take the field. Adult women cleared a path for greater participation. In 1965, the Women's Professional Football League gave women a chance to play. The Toledo Troopers dominated the league through much of its history, winning seven championships between 1971 and 1977. The league folded in 1979, and nearly 20 years passed before semi-pro play resumed. In 1989, the Minnesota Vixen and the Lake Michigan Minx brought it back by playing a series of barnstorming games. Today, the two main leagues in the United States are the Women's Football Alliance with 65 teams and the Independent Women's Football League with 16. The game is growing for high school girls as well. Last year, more than 2,000 girls played on mostly male teams, and there are four all-girls leagues in the U.S. and Canada, including leagues in Manitoba, Utah, Indiana, and New Brunswick. Internationally, women play American football in more than 30 countries. The U.S. dominates the game, having won the gold medal at all three International Federation of American Football World Championships. Under the leadership of USA Football, efforts are on to address that. Since 2014, the Women's World Games have brought athletes from around the world, 16 countries in 2018, to America in order to learn the finer points of the game. When given the opportunity, girls and women will jump at the chance to play a sport that is increasingly depicted as too dangerous for males. Historically, if anyone has built a program, the females have come ready for some football. One receiver to her left, three receivers to her right. She's got number 22, Mata in the backfield. Hands off to number 22, Mata. Mata breaks the tackle up to the left, finds an open hole, gets to another tackle, and into the end zone for her second touchdown of the game for the Boston Renegades, number 22, Ruth Mata. For Jay Hill and the Renegades, it's going to be third down and 15. 10 25 remaining. They have a 15 point lead over Cali Moore. Scores 39 to 24 here in Golden, Colorado at Mar Bay Stadium at the beautiful Colorado School of Mines. It's the most picturesque setting that I've ever seen in my entire life. You gotta be a football She's team. got three receivers to get her right. One receiver to the left. Mata in the backfield with her. Takes the snap. Throws the ball. Caught by Mata. Mata breaks one tackle. Gets through. Gets another tackle. She's going up the sideline to the 30, the 25, the 20, the 10, the 5. With her fourth touchdown of the game for the Renegades. Number 22, Emma Ruth Mata. Wow, she's just having an MVP performance tonight. Antoinette's going to be in there to block, and this time Phoebe's looking and she's still looking. Oh, sorry, Phoebe. Oh, she's, oh, she's picked it, and that's an interception. What a disaster for the Bricks. Since I made that first report, the Independent Women's Football League has folded. A new league, the Women's National Football Conference, has arose. 
It includes teams such as the Nebraska, Go Huskers, Night Hawks, who in these photos are playing the Texas Elite Spartans, who won the WNFC title in their first year. Women have also found other ways to play, including the Legends Football League and Flag Football. The United States won the World Championship in 2018. Even though they don't play in massive stadiums or in front of huge crowds, the fans that they do have are very enthusiastic. They try to make as much noise as they can. So women's tackle and flag football is alive and well around the world, including the state of Ohio, where we have three teams, including the Columbus Comets, the Toledo Reign, and the Cleveland Fusion. If you take a look around, you're just likely to see some women who are ready for some football.